Welcome back to Build Snot Projects. Uh, this week we're finally uh, getting back into the swing of things again. Um, I ended up sick right at the beginning of the year and so I didn't really feel like working on anything and kind of enjoyed taking some time off uh, for a little bit. So we're gonna get back into things. Um, I've been looking at this dirt bike that was given to me by a friend of mine's dad. Uh, it's been sitting outside for I mean, the 10 years that I've known them, it's been just sitting outside. So it hasn't ran in 10 plus years. I'm going to say it's probably been sitting there longer than that. But um, yeah, so I think this is a like maybe a 74, 75 era somewhere in there. It's the uh, KE 175 as far as I know, the old Kawasaki 175. Um, so I want to kind of see if maybe this thing will run i don't know i don't know if it's going to start i mean i've looked at it just briefly uh the fuel tank doesn't have the little petcock in it anymore so we'll uh, start out pulling the air filter box off and see if there's any filter left in it or what that looks like i mean the side cover is torn apart for the clutch engagement stuff and those parts have been long gone and missing for however long um so yeah, I think this will eventually we'll end up restoring this thing as best we can. Uh, but first I want to see if the motor is going to run or not and kind of go from there. So this motor, as far as I can tell, oh, actually, it's kind of breaking loose. I'm going to pull the plug out and spray some uh, like PB blaster in there, let it sit a little bit. I mean, it's been sitting for who knows how long, let's just say. 10 years I mean that's pretty conservative I think um so it could have a little bit of rust holding the rings in place or whatever so we'll pop, pop the plug out squirt a little pb blaster in there and see if we can get it to free up So, well, it's broke free. That's a awesome. And actually, I mean, it's at least got compression because it's pushing, pushing pretty good out of that hole. So I mean, it's at least got at least got rings that are sealing somewhat. So, um. I guess that's a plus, maybe it'll run. Looks like a uh, mouse enjoyed the air filter and uh, carried some insulation in there. The old uh, bailing twine holding the gas tank in, we'll maybe trim that off of there and then uh, try to dig that mess out and see if we can get a clear passage into the engine or not. You know, I kind of just thought about this. I was looking at it from the other side and realized that there's no like carburetor that normally would be like running into a port in the back of the cylinder there like on most of the newer uh, two-stroke dirt bikes and snowmobiles and all that that I've ever messed with and even the older Yamaha 175s that I've messed with um, and I was trying to figure it out well the throttle cable runs into the cover here so the carburetor must be inside of there somewhere I mean I have no idea I'm just kind of assuming I've never messed with one of these or really 
uh, been around any of these, so I guess I'll find out here soon. I don't know, it's just just odd. I'm kind of baffled at, at this design. I mean, it must have worked, but we'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like here in a minute. So from what I can tell, it uh, looks like this is a choke lever. Actually it is, because it says choke on it. So the uh, little choke pole thing here, or push or whatever, which it kind of runs into that stuff. Um, and then looks like feel line used to run into the cover here through this little rubber grommet. Um, I got all the screws out of this cover now, so we'll go ahead and pop it off and see what's behind here. Well, maybe you pull the little rubber boot off. Now we can see what's back here. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what this all looks like. Oh, huh. That's pretty neat. I mean, minus the uh, dead bugs and goo and I think that might be some sort of a, like epoxy or JV weld or something maybe. Oh yeah, it's got a little, there was a little hole in the case at one point in time. Um, which actually I should be able to clean all that up and maybe TIG weld that shut, grind it smooth again, make it all look, look like it should. Um, and then... Yeah, I mean, minus the rotted off fuel lines and the bees nests and other random bugs and such. Okay, actually, so this is the fuel inlet, which would have ran up through here. And then there's another little rubber grommet that's busted, rotted apart, that would have held the fuel line there. So that's the inlet. And then, not quite sure what that is yet, but there's, oh, that's the oil pump. So um, that will would have been the oil line that ran to the oil tank on the other side that we already took off. Uh, so it's oil would have came in there and then the little oil pump gets ran by the throttle as well as the carburetor gets ran by the throttle. So um, it's an oil injection system, which is kind of neat. And then, I mean, really everything doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty dang clean other than the fuel lines and the, well, the bugs that are inside of the fuel lines. So. The carburetor might be uh, full of bugs. I'm not too sure, but <laughs> full of bugs inside the fuel lines. <laughs> That's probably good. So I just sprayed a bunch of PB Blaster in through the carb into the bottom end, um, mainly just to try to help lube things up in there. It's been sitting around. I don't know how much moisture is in the bottom end from sitting outside for so long. Um, or bugs or any of that sort of thing. So I just wanted to spray some of that in there, especially since the motor was locked up before we pulled it in to the shop and sprayed some PB Blaster in it. Like outside, I pushed on it and it was completely locked up. Um, and then once we got it in here and put some PB Blaster in it, freed up. So I just wanted to make sure it's nice and lubed up there. And then while I was kind of cranking it through, I noticed that we have really good spark. Um, I think you guys will be able to see it up here. Like really nice blue, consistent, really good spark. So that's awesome. Um, I mean, really should be able to try spraying some even starting fluid or something in there. I have plenty of lube in it now with all the PB blasters. So I could spray a little bit of that or maybe even some good old brake clean because that stuff works for everything. Uh, spray some of that in there, throw the plug back in it and see if it'll try to sputter or do anything and if it does I mean that's a really good sign I'll be able to just pull the motor off maybe not even worry about tearing it all down and just go through redo all the frame and like clean up the pipe recode it 
get the uh, cover and stuff for it that's missing. Um, go through and just paint everything up, make it all nice again. So we'll uh, see if we can get it to run and then kind of go from there. Got the old handy dandy 3M brake clean. Use a little bit of that. And then slap the old spark plug in and hopefully we'll get a little bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust. That'd be awesome. Um, this this bike's pretty sweet. I'm uh, glad I finally decided to do something with it. It's been sitting outside here for over a year now and I haven't done anything with it and have been looking at it. Want to do something with it. Um, don't worry. The uh, mower is currently a table for the uh, notepad to write down all the parts I need to get for that thing. Um, but we're going to be back on this thing soon. Uh, I've been trying to round up some parts and stuff that I needed. And mainly trying to get some motivation back to work on it. I mean, I got really burned out working on this stuff after working. Well, it, my normal job working on cars 10 hours a day. Uh, five days a week or more depending on the time of year and the day and stuff so I just needed a break from this for a little while and then I ended up sick and so I guess then I needed a little more of a break so I was just wiped out from being sick so we're gonna kind of bounce back and forth between the two I'm just trying to get excited about working on all this stuff again and I think this bike is gonna do it I've been super excited about this thing all night um this thing's really sweet. I still am kind of amazed at the carburetor setup just because I've never seen one like this before. Never really paid enough attention when I went to the vintage dirt bike races and stuff that they have around here. So I need to figure out exactly what year this thing is. If anybody knows what it might be, let me know. Um, just leave a comment down below and I'm gonna do a little more research on it and see if I can come up with an exact year. Heck yeah, <laughs> that was freaking easy. Um, well, I mean, it runs at least. I can't really say how well, but it didn't take a whole lot for it to fire up. Felt like it had good compression and all that. Um, yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, I guess, I guess that'll make it a lot easier because I'm not going to have to pull the whole motor apart necessarily to do this. I need to figure out the clutch issue and stuff, whatever is going on there, why ever the side cover was off and the shift forks or the shift uh, levers missing. Um, yeah, missing a few parts here and there, but like the rear shocks, all the bolts are taken out for whatever reason. I don't know little mounts for the exhaust and stuff that's missing and whatnot, but I kind of want to uh, spray a little more juice in this thing and see if it'll run a little bit longer. So, spray it in the carb this time instead of, and give it a little bit more juice. pretty dang good for sitting for so long and really didn't take a whole heck of a lot um i'll have to get a carb kit and stuff for it because i'm sure that's gonna need uh rebuilt and then i'll start tracking down all the other parts and we'll get this thing get this thing started uh thanks for watching this video make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't if you like watching this uh we'll be back with more on this thing soon, also be back on the mower soon, so make sure you stick around for that. <laughs>